Hello guys and welcome back to the show. Today I'm going to talk about a radio that I haven't, I don't think I've even done a video on the, this is the Connect Systems CS580, awesome radio, VHF only, this um, particular model is not, uh, not VHF, I'm sorry, this is a UHF model here, it's got a nice screen, clear, gives all the information we need, the menu, it's nice. So what I like about this radio is a lot of things can be changed. Contacts. I'm going to add one. Manually dial one. Scanning. Turn on scanning. Viewer, edit your list. Your zones. Edit a zone. Edit the name, whatever. Channel name. You can um, edit your channel names. SMS messages, call log, radio settings. So a lot of stuff in the settings talk around. You guys know what that is. Simplex or repeater. Ah! Get back here. Where was I at? Okay, we were in settings. Alright. Talk around. Uh, tones and alerts. Transmit power, of course. Your backlight. Um, you can set that on or automatic. It'll pop on when it receives a signal. The boot logo, keypad lock, the Vox, the language, and your device ID, which is your DMR ID. Now, what I like about this radio is it has a feature that none of the other radios have. It has a enhanced, enhanced scanning or enhanced searching I should say I've got it set up on this press and hold it and you can define two search ranges and it will search in between them two frequencies until it finds DMR activity and when it does it'll lock it'll come up right here and say lock you can hit lock and it will lock right onto that specific DMR tower and talk group so you can um, instantly just start talking right there where you hear activity which is pretty cool you can also as you see the frequencies that I've got in here I've been uh, listening to some local businesses and um, police departments stuff like that so I've got a different frequency range in than what you would normally <laughs> put in for 440 and then the good thing about it is you can edit it right here, up and down, or you can manually do it right on the, the keypad. Do the other one. Uh, let's do 461. And I've noticed something with this that's odd. If you leave the save mode on auto, when it finds a frequency it'll pop up and it'll ask you where do you want to save it over here it'll say free and you can save it to the next available free channel or over here it will say current and you can save it in the current channel when it does that there's no way to resume scanning from the point that you've already reached it starts all over again which I hate if you go down here to save mode and just Ah, uh, crap only. Here we go. All right, you go to save mode, change it to manual, and it won't do that. When it finds something, it will stop on it and say lock, and then you can lock onto it if you want to talk, or it'll stay there as long as there's activity. When the activity stops, it'll start searching again. If you hit lock and lock onto it and listen to it for a few minutes, then this button will come up here and it'll say continue. Then you can just hit continue when you're done listening and start um, searching again, which is which is pretty cool. Focus. There we go. Alright. It has some other perimeters and other modes, which I'm not exactly for sure what they are. 
it has an enhanced perimeter it calls it enhanced perimeter I think that's what it's called let's look and see I think that's the enhanced perimeter I don't know exactly what that does I don't know or it just shows and I can change this see this is my local repeater so I guess you can go in and change certain settings that you have programmed without going into the code plug and that's a good thing about it is because if you're in a, in a town or a city that you've never been you can start the searching and if it finds the local DMR repeater you can lock onto it without having a computer or anything like that you know you might find something and you don't know the information on it and you can search for it but the thing about that is it has to be transmitting as long as the repeater is transmitting you'll be able to find it if it's not transmitting then of course womp 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 <laughs> you're not going to find it there's no signal so it has to be transmitting I'll hook up an antenna here we'll do a little searching and I'll show you what it looks like on the screen when it finds something cool and um focus thank you and um, all that good stuff so I'm going to pause the video for just a second and uh, we'll hook it up ok guys I'm back I've got her plugged up here and I'll take a look and we'll get the um, we'll get it started I'm going to hit start scanning on. scanning on it talks to you if you want it to and volume up here just a little bit there's some local um, transportation companies uh, some different stuff in the area so we'll see um, we'll see if it picks up anything here it's pretty cool it, how it picks this information up and it just um, locks onto it and everything is displayed on the screen it shows you the color code the slot the talk group it's, uh, it's it's pretty cool. I kind of like it. It's a really cool feature to have. The um, the 380 is a uh, not excuse me the um, 580 is an awesome radio. It's it's super super strong. It's heavy duty built. It, it's a nice radio. The battery life on these things is it's incredible. It blows my mind how long these batteries go. It's just um, it's crazy. I thought we would have picked up something by now. Let's see here. It scans slow, as you can see. I, I don't. That's one thing I don't like. It takes it forever to scan, to go through a frequency range. If you have a large range, it just um, it takes it forever. I hate. That. I wish it was a little faster. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video here and. Let it scan a minute. When it locks onto something, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, guys, this is what it looks like. This is my open spot. You can see my... Turn it up here a little bit. This is my open spot. So, <laughs> I had found my open spot. I did some search in the business and it was kind of quiet. It's about um, it's about 7.30 here in the evening, so I guess everybody's probably went home for the day. But this is what it looks like. It comes up with the ID of the system. ID, the color code the system's on, the slot, type G. I don't know what type G is, but anyway. And the transmit contact, which is 310, because that's what my open spot's on right now. It's on top group 310. F442 yeah, 225 is the frequency of my open spot, which is my repeater frequency here. And you can save it if you want to save it, or you can continue to scan. It's a pretty cool feature to have in such a small HT. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you the the cool 
scanning feature of the CS580. Ah, what did I do? Oh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you can. I can sure use all the subscribers I can get right now at the moment. YouTube is really YouTube has really came down on on small channels. They want everybody to have um, 4,000 watched hours and uh, 1,000 subscribers by February the 27th. And if you don't have that, they will remove your partnership. So, I already have 4,000 watched hours. I've got plenty of people watching the videos, but just not a lot of actual subscribers. <laughs> Um, I think maybe five, over five, uh, maybe 570 or 560 or somewhere, somewhere around in there. So if you could please subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated and it would let me know that you enjoy the videos and you like what I'll do. Focus. There we go. I love my Motorola. <laughs> Anyway, 73s, guys, and uh, hopefully we will. I will hear you on the air. Usually, to reach me, you can get me on TAC 310. If you need any help with a DMR radio, a code plug, or anything of that sort, you can email me at my call sign at yahoo.com, and my call sign is KG4VDZ, Kilo Germany 4 Victor Delta Zulu at yahoo.com, and I will do my best. To try to help you. So 73s and get on the air.